because of that fear of God, you are restrained, you are constrained. See, this constraining that I'm talking about is not, is not human. You are not with me. Hey. You have not seen dollars in Jim Tech's bag. New ones, it has a fragrance. It, that fragrance can choke your soul. <laughs> you have not seen it as bribe in Jim Tech's bag. Are you with me? But if you have entered into the economy of this fear, there will be an inner constraining. It's not human. No human being can survive that Jim Tech's bag. I, I assure you. Oh, when somebody comes and says they want to divert some 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 hundreds of thousands some millions of liters and move it to the republic overnight you don't understand they'll bring a badge let me not tell you my work the night a badge can comfortably take five million ten million so they just and overnight they have reached the republic the price is double and people are willing to pay so they pay and then they come back you are still discharging and then they come back with gym checks for allowing the operation to prosper. When you open the gym text and you see it, and don't inhale it if you inhale it, the spirit that travels with it will negotiate with your soul. And then in the midst of that, you are there, and something is constraining you. It's not human, a spirit is involved. The people talking to you, eh, they are rugged, they are small, they are rugged, and it will not even occur to you that they can drown you. You are the only one in the midst of 12 men. You see, I was born for one purpose to bear witness to the truth. Them that hear the truth, listen to my voice. The case has finished. They, they say this is not a human being, it is true, a spirit. So he, he releases you into, into contact with the fear of God. And the fear of God can constrain. The fear of God can hold you back. Hallelujah. You see, the fact that the pool affected you, the pool, doesn't mean you you you, you are bad. Oh. No. Wrong. You, the pool, you even go like this, the pool. You move. But as you are going, the spirit, he will bring you back. The spirit will make you understand how incapable you are as a man in the flesh. The devil knows the buttons to press to, to command compliance from your life. But what he no longer understands is the power of that spirit that is involved. He said, when two or three are gathered, because I called them, I will no longer be dormant. I will become active in their lives. And I will bring them into, usher them into the first pavilion. That's where they are sensitive to me. In, in my own opinion, my wife is one of the rewards God gave me. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure of my long life. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of my long life. God, my battles are not in the home. When I come home, there's no battle. I'm not experiencing marriage crisis. No experience. Meanwhile, I was not praying for a wife when I saw her. I was on kingdom mission. I was, I was burning out for the kingdom. They said, Kai, this young man, this young man. Let's give him something he didn't pray for. It's not his idea. It's not his philosophy. He doesn't even know that this kind of a thing exists. But let's, let's reward him. Well, we had our wedding. Because my in-laws, they made me labor for five years before they accepted. So they knew that if I marry, I won't, I won't talk to them again. I was, they felt I was just following those. Ah, that, that is... <laughs> You see, my face looks hard. It doesn't mean I'm hard. But they look at my face and say, God, that's a crook. It's a crook man. It's a crook man. So to calm the tension, they gave me a car. But in the, in the documents of the car, it's her name on the, But it's me that they gave. But, you know, what they were saying was that, it's not you. It's, it's our daughter. Our daughter. Well, I was the one cruising that car. Cruising. And then when I traveled, she now wanted to cruise and she had an accident. She could not sleep. So I came back. <laughs> ah! 
It's a reward. It's a reward. Some of you, they, is the gospel, so we preach it. You didn't labor enough for God to reward you with a woman. Uh, you didn't labor enough. So there are some challenges you are having. It's, not, it's normal. You didn't labor. The one that your spiritual senses could, could, could locate was not a reward. It was an answer to prayer. <laughs> <laughs> it was an answer to prayer me i tell you see i spend money i spend money in a very terrible way and my wife knows how much i earn she doesn't see it and i normally hear rumors that some women like money I hear rumors that women like money, that before you spend any money, in fact, I hear rumors that people have to spend money quietly so that the wife won't know. Because if he knows, I'm not experiencing that. It's because for me, I didn't pray for a wife. God rewarded me. You may not have known. We preachers are very stubborn people. Very stubborn. If God can use us, he can use you more. Very stubborn people. But when God, uh, it's only the wives of ministers that understand what I'm saying. You see, I see them, they are laughing. They understand. <laughs> we are very stubborn people. It will take a, a, a God to reward you with a woman that can live with you. In case you are here and you are not yet married, may Baba give you a, a wife as a reward and not an answer to a prayer. Yeah. I'll stop there. Meanwhile, I didn't discuss with her that I will be saying this kind of thing. She's, she's embarrassed now. He's a reward. Seek it first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Say, seek it. The kingdom must be sought. No, you didn't hear that. You can't, you don't just stop. No, the, the kingdom, the things that pertain to the kingdom, you will seek the will of God. It's desperate. What are you doing now? The economy is down, people are suffering. What, what is this? Is it a strategy that we don't understand? Then you say, Okay, my son, come see, this is what I'm doing. And after six months, this will happen. You will seek the you must become addicted to the kingdom. And the more addicted you are to the kingdom, the more you will forget yourself. Because the God life in you is intended to bring you to a point of God consciousness. God consciousness. Don't forget that. The soul life brings self-consciousness. The life in the flesh brings world consciousness. So as you grow in the God life, there is a different strand of consciousness that comes upon your life. That consciousness, that level of consciousness. It changes your eye view, your priority, your scale of preference and your priorities. It brings you to a point where you now understand what matters in life. And when you function as an agent of the kingdom, you will do so at the peril of your immediate needs. Meanwhile, that is accurate living. Because what Adam lost in the Garden of Eden was not his purse. It was not money. It was the kingdom that was no longer in view. By ordination, we were created to function in the kingdom of God. And prayer is a kingdom operation. It's a kingdom operation. It's captured within the context of the will of God. So when you are praying prayers of, of petition, praying prayers of devotion, you are actually trying to take advantage of provisions in God. But when you are praying prayers that pertain to the will of God, you are carrying out a ministry. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Now, you see, the Bible says that the steadfast love of the Lord, it never cease. It says, mercies, they never come to an end. His mercies are new every morning. Now, that means you can access His mercy every morning. It is new, it is refreshed. That's a provision in God. The fact that you access the mercy of God, which is a provision, prayer answered. That's where you are. 
you will access the grace of the grace of god the bible says we should come boldly to the throne of grace that we may find mercy and help prayer answered there are provisions in the kingdom that prayerfully you can access but the prayer ministry of the church is not something that is a provision to access it is a place to be aligned with it is a will to be aligned with and to create passage for that will to find expression those are two different things so the fact that you are a very prayerful person doesn't mean you are one of the people that is participating in the prayer ministry of the church and if you are so participating the emphasis on your life is not prayer answered it is what prayer rewarded That's one of the reasons why i have harmony with my wife we, we i i i was forged in revival and i met her in a revival so our priorities are similar and we were shaped we're congressmen this congressman from this constituency that went and married another congress and then we are back again to my constituency now, there is no prayer we can pray here for all the ministers gathered that will say women won't tempt you there's no prayer meanwhile uh, intercession if we intercede very well it attracts women The only guarantee of your survival as you born like this with this mighty witness mighty mighty all trans from god hey is that what the spirit now see he knows that you will become vulnerable in the process so he said i i will be there by covenant he said covenant i'll be there he's not there as a spectator he's there because every layer you are ushered into there are infirmities in your humanity that will be on display that you will have to come and cover You know, before you married, you there was a particular kind of sister I used to like. If it, for, it might be short one, I assure you, there are still short ones in town. Baba won't kill them because of you. I <laughs> have Some is some, some is light, light skin, <laughs> like the lilies. Robin Ayala Kunda. There are still a lot of them around. And when you begin to burn with the intensity of, 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 of the fragrance of grace, suddenly your counseling list begins to become bloated. And then you discover that 90% of the people are lilies. Glory. This is my script. He said, the righteousness of prayer is not obtained by praying carelessly or heartlessly or improperly. The Lord teaches us here how we should not imitate the prayers of two kinds of people. Right? Are you with me? He teaches us here how we should not imitate the prayers of two kinds of people. And the first kind of people that Jesus is teaching us not to imitate are the hypocrites. He said, he said don't pray. Like what? It means it is possible to pray like the hypocrite. And we need to check that scripture very well and make it life applicable. So that you see how many times you prayed a hypocritical prayer. Jesus said, do not pray like the hypocrites. Now, please check your Bible. Let's find out how do the hypocrites pray. Please don't forget, Jesus is more concerned about prayer rewards than prayers answered. Hypocrites. How do they pray? Check your Bible. Hallelujah. How do hypocrites pray? They love standing in the synagogue. The corners of the street. Those strategic points where you cannot but see them. Have you noticed that? Have you traveled on a Friday in Nigeria? And then some people block roads. In the name of prayer. On the street. Oh, 
okay you, even if your driver is one of them you will pack and pray. you will not even say sorry uh, you, you will pack it's as if it's part of the constitution on the highway there is land there is land in those places they can be in the bush and be there no but their own must be on the road on the highway on the street he said if, 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 hey he said don't pray like the hypocrites because the hypocrite already has his reward just like i said i said jesus is more concerned about say but you when you pray go into your closet and shut the door and does, that doesn't mean you, it's it's a location it means a location but beyond the location because when we travel when i travel in public transport i like to sit in front the reason why i like to sit in front is that it's only the driver that will see me and he'll be seeing my side and he's busy with driving so he will not be concerned about the movement of my mind but nobody will hear what i'm doing because i've shut the door i don't care what music they play in that car or what kind of gist they gist i'm not in that car i am in communion i am in communion so nobody knows what i'm cooking up it's not on display for people to see because the one that i'm contacting is a god that is in secret are you with me and him that sees in secret the bible says he will reward you Sometimes I think of the kind of anointing that manifests in the open. And we did not generate that anointing in the open. Generated in the secret place. In fact, I know a particular man of God, he doesn't pray in tongues in the open. If he's on the pulpit, he only prays in his understanding. And then you would think that he doesn't pray in tongues. We were told about his prayer life, that he could do 12 hours on his knees. Well, the people that trained me in prayer were not praying on their knees. They pray and they walk around. So that's how I learned how to pray. And that's how I taught people too how to pray. Meanwhile, I don't insist that you do my own style. There's actually no style. The one that is more comfortable for you. I can lie on the bed and I'm praying. And my wife won't know. She would think we woke up the same time. But I have to provide priesthood for that family. It's my responsibility. So she has the right to sleep if she's tired. But me, I cannot be tired. I must do the work of a priest. So I have to wake up. And you will not know that I'm doing it because I've shut the door. So prayer is not an exhibition. Prayer is not something we put on display. In fact, the deeper you start becoming in the spirit, the more you stop showing up. If you are growing in Christ Jesus, you stop showing up. There are many times in the office I have to pray. There are people there you won't know. I'm doing my own spiritual activity. People think it's office work I came to do. But prayer must be done behind a shut door so that the next person does not know what you are doing. And him, that what? Sees in secret. We reward you openly. The other day, I saw some young men on the street praying in tongues. Now, they have received their reward. I also pray on the street, but I pray with the door shut, such that you will not be able to differentiate somebody that is coming from the market and me that is praying on the street. Transform your life by downloading sermons from KingdomEchoes.com with just one click of a button.